lot of playing time uh, against Oregon State. And I know it's a new position for him this year, so how, how do you look? He did a good job, you know. Uh, that's kind of the uh, the good thing about uh, having some depth there. You know, he had a guy go down and he stepped in and obviously his reps increased or whatever. And, uh, you know, he's gotten better and better. I'd say, you know, since I've been here, it's the best he's looked. You know what I mean? He, he's playing fast. He's He's seen it more comfortable, you know, in that three-point stance and stuff. Because uh, obviously he came here as more of a skill position guy. And, and uh, just excited, man, for his growth and, and really excited to see him uh, this uh, Saturday, see how he does. What's the toughest thing to, to, to go from being like a, li a linebacker to going into that three-point stance where you're, you're rushing the passer? What's the toughest thing to, to, to gain? I think it's just, you know, having a guy be so close to you now. You know, when you're down there in the trenches, you don't have a lot of uh, space, so you got to be able to get your hands on guys really fast. You got to uh, be able to play into those double teams, and it's just like everything just happens so much faster uh, when, when you're down there. So um, I think that was the biggest adjustment for him, just having a guy uh, get up on him in a hurry. And uh, like I said, he's done a, a really good job, and so I'm just looking forward to it. How did uh, Mason Vineyard look today in Thursday Night Football? I know he's a guy that's you get a little bit more reps, a little bit more looks. Yeah. He looked good, you know. You're trying to work him in some. You know, he's, a, he's an extremely, extremely fast kid. You know, he's like 10 100 guy in high school, man. And you just don't find a lot of guys like that. And, and then he's 6'5 or 6'4 and some change or whatever. So you, you want to utilize a guy like that, you know what I mean? But you have to uh, get into the right situations to be able to use, you know, his skill set and uh, – so we've been working, working every day. And, um, you know, the biggest challenge I think for him will be just being consistent, you know what I mean, every day in practice. And hopefully that can carry over um, at some point to Saturdays. Who, who else looked good on the uh, Thursday night football field tonight? Uh, Diamond Richardson looked real good. Uh, junior college kid that's uh, uh, really finding his way now. I think he's growing, uh, putting on a little weight and things. He has a great frame and he's just seeming more and more comfortable uh, in that position. Uh, Josh Talbot uh, on the back end, he seems, again, more sure of himself for sure today. I, I stand right there in the middle of him, so I kind of hear all the checks and hear all the things going on, and and, uh, and that's good to see. And then also uh, Cole Dubox is flying around. And again, he's another speed guy, 10-5 ten, ten track guy out of high school. So, you know, that's the cool thing when you, when you can try to get some guys that you know can run you know, as a coach, now you just have to worry about getting them to the right place. You know, you know they'll they'll get there fast, but we're just trying to get them uh, knowing exactly what they're doing, and, and that's what it's for. And and, um, and hopefully those guys understand that that's what we do Thursday night is is for their development. In, in your opinion, who do you think won the uh, battle in the trenches today for Thursday night football? Offensive line, defensive oh, line. It's no question the D line. Don't let Coach Leach hear that. Uh, <laughs> But no, I, I, th I thought the defensive line did. I thought uh, we were in the backfield a good amount. And um, and um, I'll tell you what, you just, you're seeing more and more guys mix it up instead of just one name. You're seeing more and more guys across that front, you know what I mean, wreck some havoc. And, and for them, the biggest thing, again, is just understanding, you know, um, those pass rush lanes and not going past the quarterback and trying to keep them corralled and in the pocket and not letting them get loose. But uh, I thought today was maybe our best Thursday night football. I mean, they scored maybe once, you know, could have been could have been questionable down there the offense. But yeah, no, from a defensive standpoint, it's it's it just seems like these guys know what they're doing more, and I can feel that, you know, from out there in the field. So that's good to see.